In the next few videos, we're going to go through a few examples of optimization problems. In this particular video, we're going, we're going to try to find the dimensions of the best possible box with an open top. More precisely, we're building a box with no top in the following way. We take a 12 by 16 inches rectangular piece of cardboard we cut from each corner an identical square and then we fold up the flaps and folding up the sides we obtain a box but with no top nevertheless this box has a volume and we want to find the dimensions of the box for which the volume of the box is maximum so there is a piece of cardboard that is 16 by 12 and we cut out of each corner an identical square so something like that what does that mean that we fold up the sides if you look at these dotted lines if I fold along these dotted lines then I have these four flaps that move up and become the sides of a box so if I fold them up I should obtain a box that looks like that now what we want is to find the dimensions of this box that make the volume as large as possible. So because we look for the dimensions, of course I'm going to introduce letters for them. Let's call these dimensions capital L, little l and H. And we want to maximize the volume, which in the case of um, this type of box would be just a product of the dimensions so capital L times little l times h so now we have the objective function v but it's a function of three different variables and we want to write it as a function of one variable in fact it should be a function of one variable because in this construction there's only one parameter that we can control and this is the side of the square that we cut out of each corner. So let's call that side x that we have here on the picture. Then if I'm looking for the dimension of the box in terms of x, this side, the blue side, the length capital L, can be found on my um, on the flat piece of cardboard in this place. And you see that here we have x taken out on each side of the length 16 inches on the piece of cardboard. So that means that capital L is just 16 minus 2x. Similarly, if I'm looking for little l in red here, it corresponds to this edge, this red edge on the flat piece of cardboard. And again, it is the full length of 12 inches to which we take out two lengths of the square, in other words, 2x. So little l is 12 minus 2x. Finally, the height h in green here on the folded box corresponds to these edges or these edges uh, on the flat piece of cardboard. And in other words, this is just x, so h is just x. Now the volume that we want to maximize is a product of the three dimensions, but now I have each one of them in terms of x, so I obtain the volume as a function of x, v of x, which is x multiplied by 16 minus 2x multiplied by 12 minus 2x, product of the three dimensions. And we want to find the maximum of this function on the interval 0, 6. Why the interval 0, 6? Because x is one of the dimensions of the box, so it is certainly at least 0. And it cannot be more than 6, because let's say I take out of a corner a square of size 6. So that would look like that, and you see that I would already take up half of the side of length 12. So since I'm taking out an identical square out of each corner, I would get something like that where I just cut out an entire piece of, uh, of the um, rectangle and then 
I don't have any side to fold up. So now we want to find the maximum of a continuous function, v of x, on a closed interval. And we can use the closed interval method. That tells us that this maximum is going to be reached either at the endpoint or at a critical value of v, that is, in that interval. Here, the value of v at 0 is 0. The value of v at 6, as we have seen just before, is also 0. In other words, what we're going to try to do is find the critical values of v that lie between 0 and 6, evaluate the function at these critical values, and the largest value that we're going to find is going to be the maximum volume. The value of x, where this happens, is going to give us one of the dimensions that give us the optimal box. So, because we're going to look for the critical values, I'm going to first simplify v so that it's easier to differentiate. Multiplying things through, I obtain for v 4x cubed minus 56x squared plus 192x, so that when I differentiate, I obtain 12x squared minus 112x plus 192. All that can be factored here is a 4. Then the second factor is the quadratic function 3x squared minus 28x plus 48. We're looking for the zeros of v prime. And therefore, these are the zeros of the quadratic function uh, in the parentheses. So to find these zeros, we're going to use a quadratic formula, starting with a discriminant, the b squared minus 4ac that we plug inside the square root. So this is the square of the coefficient of x, so that's 28 squared, and then we subtract 4 times the product of the other two coefficients, 3 and 48. So that gives me 208. That's positive, so we're going to get two possible values for x, namely 28 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, 208, divided by 2 times the coefficient of x squared, so divided by 6. 208 turns out to be 13 multiplied by 16. So square root of 208 is square root of 16 times square root of um, 13. Square root of 16 is 4. And so I have 28 plus or minus 4 square root of 13 over 6, which simplifies as 14 plus or minus 2 root of 13 over 3. Now it turns out that 14 plus 2 root of 13 over 3 is greater than 6, because root of 13 is, of course, greater than root of 9. So 2 root of 13 is greater than 6. So at the top, I have something that is at least 20. And 20 third is greater than 18 third, which is 6. So that means that the only critical value that is inside the interval is 14 minus 2 root of 13 over 3. Well, because we know that the maximum exists, and it can only uh, occur at a critical point because we already know it doesn't happen at the endpoints. That means we get the um, maximum volume for that value of x, 14 minus 2 root of 13 over 3. And this maximum volume turns out to be approximately 194 cubic inches. But now we have all three dimensions of the box. Remember, the questions was find the dimensions of the biggest possible box. We have all three dimensions in terms of x. We know that the volume is maximum for the value of x, 14 minus 2 root of 13 over 3. And we can calculate the other two dimensions in terms of this value. So that gives us explicitly all three dimensions for the biggest possible box. And in the next videos, we will see more examples of optimization problems.